I'm here on business for my wife's business. Uh, they're throwing a big shindig tonight. So I guess I just flew out to Kansas for a big party. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to review a restaurant. So let's get in the car and head there. Uh, they say it's the best place around. So let's see if it really is. Arthur Bryant's. Oh, that's great. Oh, they have drive. Look at drive through service. Drive through. Are they all? Those are all pickups, huh? Mm -hmm. You can drive through this restaurant and get barbecue. Where? Okay. Just pulling in. Mm -hmm. Zach's joining us. Zach and his wife. Zach and his wife. What's the wife's name? Sharon. Sh Zach and Sharon. I've never oh. met him. First spot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest. The parking lot's all beat up. This place looks like it's not even in business. Check it out. He's so cool. All right, so I'm going to start filming you guys now. Okay, cool. All right, so Zach and Sharon are joining us. Hi. And we're going to tell everybody that, I mean, they missed out. I don't care. I don't care who we meet later on the night. <laughs> we're going to tell them it was the best place we've ever been oh, to. Oh, yeah. And it was just all, they just gave us free food because we were the first one through the door. Yes. Nice. We're going to lie through our teeth. Okay. All right. Sounds good. But on video okay. for the show, <laughs> I need you guys to tell me, even if it's dog food, Okay. Whatever it is. Okay. And you don't like barbecue, right? That's that. Is that? <laughs> you don't? No. Spoiler alert. All right. I'm from, I'm from so Southern California, so, so I'm I do Mexican. Does Mexican. this place look like it's not even open for business? It does. It looks like there's no one even here. But I think it's Court says it's great. I've never been here, though. Wait a minute. There are people here, right? You're scaring me now. Oh, this is There we go. Somebody's already eating here. Look. There it is. This must be... Yep. There's like nobody around. I don't know who got hurt. The speedway. All right, it's let's go inside. Right. It's freezing. Thank you, sir. That's Arthur. That's Arthur right there. That's Arthur right there? Yeah, that's Arthur Brown right there. That's the man right there, guys. There he is. Nice. So, yeah, I think that might is be he still too. alive? Uh, no, I think he passed away the last few years. Oh. The court says a lot of celebrities come here. Yeah, they had some one of the uh, ex-presidents or old presidents on the wall. Still alive, though. Here's part of the menu, guys. Pause the video if you want to zoom in and look at it. Look at the prices. Uh, full slab of ribs is twenty dollars. Oops, sorry, I got so excited, I almost fainted. Um, yeah, that's that's about right. Baby back ribs, ten ninety five. Ribs are smoked with chipotle bacon sauce. Look at this, including macaroni, bite, casserole, and coleslaw. You have a problem with you're what I'm ordering? All, you're getting all that ribs? Well, you better tell them. No, that's a, isn't, it's just half a, ra half a rack, I right? I don't know, you have to find I, out. I think so. I'll find out, it doesn't matter. All right, so there you go. And then the brisket sandwich. And the, and the brisket sandwich, right? Yes. Yeah. Who, said, who said the brisket sandwich was good? Court. Court did. Yeah. And where's Court right now? He's, uh, he's not here. Where is he? He's going to the game. The playoff, the playoff game, game, the Titans against the Chiefs? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, when this airs, you'll know who won. Yeah. So, okay, you did what? I got the pulled pork sandwich with the macaroni bites. Okay, hold on. Do you, do you have a problem if I cry over your food? No. Because I will. All right. <laughs> oh, God, All right, go, go try that out. Let uh, me know what you think. Uh, he's working it. Can I peek? Ooh, look what he's looking at. That. So when you say um, the long slab, what does that mean? The long side of spare ribs? So is one side longer than the other? Oh, got it. So you only do baby back. You don't do spare. Uh, oh, I thought it was uh, spare ribs. Oh, these are St. Louis. Those are St. Louis? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So you do St. Louis then. Yeah. And you do baby back. Yeah. Alright, got it. Alright. Okay, so that's special. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, you are. Oh look, look, he's Yeah. Freshly sliced guys, right there. And it's wet. Look at his gloves. It's not that dry stuff. He's rocking it. He's literally, this is faster than fast food. Yeah, so when you drive through, you know you're getting it made fresh. Man, kind of merry on this. Oh, dude. I hate to say this, but I love you, man. Oh my goodness. It was kind of a bittersweet comment. Okay, I'm going to- Hey, what you drinking there? Oh, this is a Boulevard Wheat. It's a Kansas City beer. Oh, I thought it was apple cider with foam. No, it's Boulevard <laughs> wheat. Got it. I'm going to try the rich and spicy sauce. Right. So I'm going to try it right here. Awesome. This is my pulled pork sandwich. 
Nice. I'm gonna get a bite of that with some pickle. Of course. Gotta get a big. Now, it, was that thick or thin sauce? That was a little thin. A little thin. Yeah. Kind of like out. a Carolina one. Sure, I've not had a Carolina sauce. Before. Carolina has a lot of vinegar in it. Yeah. So it comes out runny. Right. And then, when you're done, we'll talk to you outside or well before we leave. Sounds good. All right. What you got, man? All right, I got today's special. It's the uh, baby back ribs. And then, of course, the macaroni bite over there. So let's give this a shot. Awesome. It looks, uh, got a good glaze on there. So let's see. Wow, look at meaty. I know, right? A lot of meat there, too. All right, let's see. Mm. It comes right off the bone. Right. Beautiful. Smoky and juicy. Yeah. Beautiful. That's that's actually really good. I like that. <laughs> okay, so you go ahead also finish your meal, enjoy yourself, and then uh, we'll talk to you afterwards. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say. So that's when I shove food in my mouth. Hello, barbecue. All right. Look at all that meat. You can't even see the bread holes. The bread should just hold the meat together. I don't even care about bread, but watch this. Mm. It's almost an art form. All right, here we go. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to eat it. No, what do you got? What is that? It's the macaroni and cheese bite. Okay. Wow, okay. Um, that was her bite. It went real fast. <laughs> you saw it, and then you didn't see it. It was a magic trick, right, honey? Their, their barbecue sauce is really not good. I, I, I like the sweet heat for a moment. They're just not good. None of them are good. This place may be a landmark, but to show you how not good they are, hold on a minute. Oh, you're running it, man. No, no. Oh, you're running good. it. Just a, just a little bit. There we go. I'd rather put ketchup on my meat than their barbecue sauce. Okay, Arthur, I love you, man. Your ribs are flawless, but, but you gotta bring in some new, some new sauce. All right, let me just save you the comments that you're typing right now. Don't bother, I know that was cruel and mean. It was funny in my head. It wasn't quite as funny on video, but you know I like to show everything. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, a lot of you don't know this. My wife does not eat meat off a bone. I don't get it, but she doesn't. So, watch this, ready? Let me pull this off. All right, this just falls off the bone. Look at that, right, honey? Can you give us one bite for the show? Just one bite? I'm good. All right, now watch. Watch. Right here. Look at this. There, see that? Now there's no bone. Honey, can you just try the meat with no bone? Hmm. <laughs> what? What up with that? It's like 19 degrees, so talk to me quick. Okay, I'm not a barbecue person, and I'm not an Arthur Bryant's person. It was okay. The presentation was really nice. The way that you ordered your food was really nice. The restaurant was really nice. Um, the pulled pork you could have used a little less sauce, and um, the barbecue sauce was not good at all. I did like the macaroni bites, and the beer was so cold and so good. Okay. All right. <laughs> So the one thing you like, huh? The one, the beer. The beer was the coldest. <laughs> the beer was, yeah, <laughs> great. Yeehaw. Okay. Boulevard. All right, if you want a beer, go to the barbecue place. <laughs> Zach, give it to me. Uh, first time here, actually. So I'll, uh, and to be honest, I'm not sure that I'll come back. Just because I like the, I like the ribs. It was good. It was, uh, it had a good char on it. It was uh, very flavorful. Right. But there was nothing else. I mean, the coleslaw was sweet. Didn't really care for it too much. The macaroni bites was dry. The sauce wasn't good. Their original sauce, I tried all three that they had. The originals, the rich and spicy and the sweet heat. Didn't really care for them. So I'm not sure I'll come back in a, in a scale of one to 10. I give it maybe a four. Okay. Maybe a four. So. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm in the car because we couldn't stand outside any longer to do the reviews. So you heard what they thought. Um, I'm gonna tell you this. The only thing good in this place is their ribs. So let's uh, talk about the ribs first. The ribs were flawlessly cooked. They were seasoned perfect. Uh, they had a great little outer crust to them. They were tender right off the bone perfect. Literally award-winning ribs. Everything else I couldn't stand. Their sauces were not good. Those Mac balls, those, those things, felt like they were rolled in sawdust. They were just nasty. Even though she liked them, I couldn't stand them. Zach couldn't stand them. Tammy, did you like them? I like them. It it's must a girl be thing. yeah. 
Sawdust must be a girl thing. I don't know. It's cornbread. The brisket that was sliced was cold. Literally, stop. But it was good with no sauce. Okay, okay, I'm not done. I love that lady. Okay, so the brisket was cold. I bit, when I took that first bite, it was cold meat in my mouth. I was not happy about that. It was tender, but I never, ever want cold brisket served to me at a barbecue joint. Uh, what else? What else did we have? The pulled pork I didn't try. She didn't like it. She had a big chunk of a hard piece in her sandwich, so I just stayed away Too from it. Too much sauce. Coleslaw was drowning in juice. Too sweet for me. Uh, just was okay. I wouldn't say it was bad. Coleslaw, you can eat it, not eat it. It doesn't really matter. But uh, bottom line is, guys, I do not recommend this place. I give this place a 20 out of 50. So uh, it's just... I'm being really nice too. I'm being really nice because the people were sweet here. Um, it's been it's historical, so I'm I'm guessing if if Arthur were alive, it wouldn't be like this. He would fix these things. But anyway, that's my review, you guys. Take care and get ready for Barbecue Wars Tour Texas Edition, courtesy of Char Griller. So I will see you guys in the next episode.